Here's the Olivetti M15. Big luggable thing, comparable to the uh, PC uh, IBM's portable. I think one of the first ones. Here's its back. We have a printer, floppy serial, and bus there. Got the SV image of a bus, and it's your 25 pin serial. That should be handy enough. Two cables, one for charge in the battery and the other one to actually power the machine, so that's quite cool. And we open it up. Like so. And we have that as our monstrosity. Pretty, huh? Two 720k floppy disks, one there and one there and the keyboard actually also lifts out as well that's here your telephone socket type connection in there which is quite handy and let me switch it on and it's doing its usual doohickey that you would expect it an extremely slow RAM check um, 512k contrast speaker um, on off and so on and over here we have discs A and disc B with the little lights that well light up when it accesses and we are at And there we go. CPM. At the bottom there we have my user number which is zero. The um, time that I'm logged on. Well the time in general actually. And the date. And as you can see it's August 1st 1983. Super duper huh. Super duper. There we go. All super duper. Now this is 1983. Um, revision 1.1 for IBM compatibles um, but obviously it's been around for a wee while since then and it's very polished I have to say and I'll show you in a wee second the disk maintenance program which um, you know DOS F disk but a lot better than that look at that isn't that quite cool? Simple. None of this nonsense that you still have to mess around with with F-Disc and DOS. And um, it's not as flexible as the one for Pro-DOS and the Apple II, but it's still pretty good, it has to be said. Still pretty good. That's about it, to be honest. Sadly, Getting a working system was a lot easier than um, trying to get software on the damn thing, which is where my problem lies just now. I can't get a disk to be read, apart from, strangely enough, um, floppies formatted on the PowerBook 540C as 720K DOS floppies. Well, they get a read, but they throw up rubbish. And I can't write to them. Um, another software I've got just now allows me to make a disc. Another software I've got just now allows me to read a disc and then write files to it at the same time. Um, and the CPM format and the CPM system won't read anything else either. So a bit of a chicken and the egg situation just now. But super, all the same.